follow me right in the description box right below. So make sure I go show him some love. We appreciate you know uh, you for that kind gesture for sending us you know the apparel. Also the little um the winter hat. Sam Ant got one as well over there. He sent us. Appreciate that. You know um A C seven apparel. Y'all see what it is. Go support this young brother doing you know his thing. You know out there. If y'all want to send us stuff too, hit me up at oh god at hip hop un dot com. And I'll um, let you know where you can send, you know, me and Sam Matt, you know, some stuff that we can wear, you know, on the podcast. Because we'd much rather do that. We're trying Definitely. to sit there and promote young business people out here that want to promote their brands. We'd rather do that than these other clothes. We're not getting money from the Jordans and the polos and the various Facts. other clothing that we like to wear throughout our day. So we'd rather promote you and, and get some money in your pocket. That's what we have to do out here, support our own. So we, like Oga said, drop me an email. Send the stuff, we'll wear it, support your brand, man, for sure. Yeah, let's get right to it. Yeah, man, definitely. Well, yesterday, man, as we were doing our little uh, emergency, you know, su surprise podcast, you know, last night, it came across um, the ticker that Takashi 69 TMZ actually reported that Takashi 69 did told told investigators that McKenzie, you know, aka Kuda, did, you know, was the one behind the uh, paid $10,000, excuse me, to uh, shoot Chief Keith. Everybody now is running with this whole narrative that he is a snitch. But now everybody's asking for paperwork at this point, Sam, man. So my question, you know, will first be um, as media. First, let's start with TMZ. Should we believe that TMZ's source is credible at this, you know, juncture? Because we know TMZ has been wrong. A lot of times before with things, a lot of people are now scrutinizing media outlets saying there's no paperwork on 6 9 He didn't really sniff. They trying to get him killed, et cetera, et cetera. What do you feel about that, TMZ? When it comes to TMZ and their distribution of content and information and media, and it gets to the masses faster and than anything, it comes first usually. Everyone kind of bases their information off of what TMZ just provided. Can't trust everything they hear. I'll give you a prime example. I'm scrolling through Instagram today. Um, apparently they said that Offset and Cardi B were back together. Cardi B immediately responded, said, y'all lying. I ain't been in Atlanta in forever, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. um, we can't be naive to the fact and think that they create certain headlines to gain attention. 6 9 is going to gain a hell of a lot of attention. If somebody in his camp happened to get caught up and indicted and put in jail, they could create a real nice headline. And is it too far-fetched to say that they do so? Yesterday, in reporting, the headlines that we heard, we put content to the headline that we heard by no means and no stretch of the imagination that we call him a snitch or rat. We said it's crazy if he did it. We talked about the fact that we or a lot of people expected him to do it when he initially went in. It was a saga going on. Do we blame him? We went through everything that we continually went through in the in the context of this particular topic involving 6 9 mm -hmm. So, yes, you have to be 100 percent careful in any media that you hear and you have to break down your own truth and maybe do your own research. But do you necessarily need paperwork? I want you to expound on that because you were speaking in the pre-production on how basically miss me with the paperwork shit at times. So talk about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that's one aspect, but we know for first and foremost, we know that um shoddy, you know, and two other people, you know, were indicted. And now what they're pretty much saying is that as soon as the feds got finished talking to him, you know, um, they got indicted. So that's the reason why they're saying, that uh six nine snitch. Now you don't always need paperwork, obviously, to be a snitch. You can tip somebody off and tell them a certain thing and say, "Oh, you know, it, I saw you know uh, a black BMW six series going this way." So that leads to the capture of. So who knows? I mean, it could have been a text message, could have been a phone call. We seen they had the evidence, you know, with him um supposedly um on the hit on a guy uh, I think Tadu, yeah, you know, who Chief keeps cutting. They had that, so they had a lot of stuff they said on wiretap. So. You know, whatever the case may be, um, it looks like that is going to be a downhill effect from here. And that this brother may be, it's not confirmed, may be just telling on everybody. Who knows at this point? You know what I mean? But I do, you know, in his, in his defense, because with Thor over here, I want to play with his lawyer. You know, Lance Lazario actually left a statement late yesterday that made his way through the media. So I want to play that and hear what he actually had to say, you know, about the accusation of. His client, 6'9", snitching. At Lawyer for Workers, checking in. It is cold and windy in New York, boy. Checking in on the 6'9 case. TMZ reporting that three people have been arrested in the shooting of Chief Keefe and that the person 
who cooperated with the government, the person who gave the information leading to those arrests, is Takashi 69. They're calling 69 a snitch. Listen, I don't believe that report for not one second. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. It doesn't make any sense. Shit don't add up. The feds, their theory is that 69 is the ringleader, right? That's why they bought the RICO charges against him. That he's the ringleader. They're saying that he ordered the hit. Now, the person who orders the hit, he's not the guy who gets the deal. You don't get to make a deal like that, all right? If anything, the shooter gets the deal. You don't you don't make a deal with the kingpin. That doesn't make any sense. So if their theory is he's the guy who ordered the hit and now they're giving him a deal, that doesn't make the feds look good. So I don't believe it. That don't add up. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Stay tuned. The case is definitely getting interesting, though. Yeah, this dude, man, you know, I, hmm. dude, dude is really, you know, um, to me, in my opinion, silly. You know, for some of the things that, you know, he's saying. And we've seen plenty of kingpins who snitched. Plenty of kingpins who cooperated, you know, with authority. So um, that 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 doesn't mean anything like that. But um, I, I think that, I don't. We, of course, we don't know 100% if he did. But right now, it's starting to look like that. All of a sudden now, you know, all these dudes that you was running with now, dudes are starting to get, you know, uh, more more and more charges put on them from shootings and different things like that. I don't know how they find out all this stuff, man. Well, first off, let me respond to that clown that we just heard, man. And I've called him a clown throughout. Right. Anytime he gets on social media and talks, I call him a clown. Now, first off, am I ignorant to say, how the fuck don't you, how are you guessing? You don't know that he's, aren't you his lawyer? That's a good, what? Yeah. yeah. Who Crazy. are you? Or are you just a commentator for this whole situation? You have no, I fucking dare. You just out here talking. Who are you? Mm -hmm. You need to put your credentials up here, please. Cause you mm -hmm. sound stupid. Every time you talk for six, nine, either, you know, or you don't being a part of his legal team, what happened? And in any event, shut the fuck up because it's nobody's business out here on social media. If you're sitting here trying to get this man out of jail, what are you talking on social media for? Right. Like reckless. Like you sitting here like a, like a fan. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. In regards to 6 9 I said it on the podcast yesterday how this is a crazy situation. This is wild. But I never said that I think 6 9 told. There's a lot of speculation going on on whether it was shoddy. You, you said that you heard numerous things on YouTube. We heard numerous things. I'm not putting blame on anybody right now because it's all real odd to me how information is being disseminated. Mm -hmm. Now, we're seeing people getting caught up. We're seeing people get grabbed. Absolutely. But that's all we know. Is that we see people getting caught up and people getting grabbed. There's multiple people in jail right now. There's multiple people sitting behind bars. We don't know what them feds are doing in interrogation and talking. We don't know what kind of numbers are being thrown. Mm -hmm. We really don't know. So before we jump to any real conclusion, and I'm not saying you are, we're, kind, we're, just, we're off the top like anybody else, mm -hmm. but we're going to give it a 360 degree uh, turn to it. We just got to, I, I want to wait and see more before I sit there and go, he's a rat. He's a snitch. Because mm -hmm. that's the easy way to go right now. Mm. Yeah, he did it. 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 But until we really know, and I don't know if that even has to come with paperwork. I don't well, know. I mean, most people, you know, will say you need paperwork that somebody actually, you know, uh, uh, um, said, look, I identified this person as, you know, the person who did it. I admitted it that they did it. That's what they're saying. The snitch is in this, you know, uh, instant TMZ. You know, they've been wrong before. You yeah. know what I mean? Obviously. So, you know, that kind of is what it is with that. They've been you know on top saying? of this situation and they seem to r run with any story that they grab. Now, they said mm -hmm. sources tell them. I would love to hear if they have a response to the situation or mm -hmm. expound upon the sources. We'll see, man. This is another development. Trial is until shit September, if I'm not mistaken. So mm -hmm. still has a long time to go. Nine yeah. months. Still got a long way to go. So, yeah, I'm sure we'll hear multiple headlines. And, I, and what I was saying that. in the comment section, as far as like people and I definitely could believe this, like media outlets like TMZ. They're always fishing for information. They got people that they, you know, that pay for information. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm, I remember, I think the Rick Ross situation, they were wrong about that. So they could definitely be wrong or they could be right, you know, about this. He could be, you know, um, giving up information. And it just looks suspicious, you know, um, the guys you were running with. Now three of them are going down after the feds had a conversation. With. It, just, it just looks funny. And that's what people, you know, the clues and people, you know, are coming to at this point. Uh, but in due time. The information, you know, will be made readily, you know, available. And, and we will see what happens and we'll be right on it because we have a job to do in providing information, whether that be popular to some people or not. We're going to mm -hmm. go ahead and be objective about the situation. We heard what happened, whether it be true or not. We're going to provide context to it. We're not going to jump to conclusions. We're not going to jump and try to steer a narrative. Mm -hmm. We're going to remain objective to the context, but we are going to provide it. That's what we got to do here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you're tuned into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother old god and sam and go 
tune in today on this Thursday afternoon. If you're listening on YouTube, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. All right, man, I'm going to talk about this next one right here. Diddy.